in this video we are going to see how to welcome new mailchimp subscribers with a personal email so let's say that every time a new subscriber is created in your mailchimp account which is an email marketing tool what you want is you want to send a personalized welcome email to the person for this we are going to use gmail now how can we do this for this we will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using babli connect software so here your trigger application will be mailchimp and your action application will be gmail now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen now to begin with the process we are first going to type the url pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software now on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user simply click on sign in if you do not have an account with us then click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so that you can explore this entire application now since i'm an existing user i'm simply going to click on sign in and as i do that here we have reached all applications page let's click on access now for pabli connect and here we have reached a dashboard on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow let's click on this now another dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow you can give any random name to your workflow now what is my objective here my objective is that i want to welcome new mailchimp subscribers with a personalized gmail or any mail so for this i'm going to name it as welcome new subscribers mailchimp subscribers with a personal email so i'm going to click on create and as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now, triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application will be MailChimp. So, let's click on this. And the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. So here it would be new subscriber. So this workflow is going to run every time a new subscriber is added to MailChimp. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. I'm going to copy this. And then we are also given a help desk. So we have to follow this so that this integration can be made between MailChimp and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this once again, go back to MailChimp and let me show you what you have to do. So here we can see audience as I click on this. So you can see manage audience. Let's click on this. Here you have settings. Now within settings, you can go down and you will be able to find webhooks. Let's click on this. Now on the right hand side, you can see create new webhook. Let's click on this. Here we have to create a new webhook. First of all, the callback URL. So I'm going to paste the URL that we have just copied. Now, what type of update should we send? So this is just for subscribing a new user. So I'm going to uncheck rest of the options. Then for only send updates when a change is made by a subscriber, by an account admin and also via the API. Now I'm going to click on save. As I do that, the webhook is all set. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here you can see I have received a blank response. So I'm going to click on recapture webhook response and once this is done, it is asking me to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So taking you back to MailChimp. Now here you can see within audience sign up forms. Let's click on this and now I already have created a form. So this is within form builder. Now the form that I already have created is this. Okay, you can create your own form. You can add more fields. You can change the field settings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL and open this in a new tab over here. So as I do that, now I'm going to fill up this form. Let's say the first name here is dear. Last name here is dummy1. Then the email address is dear dummy1 at pablitudes.com. And then we have the mobile number. So here is the mobile number. Then we have the gender. 
So let's say it is a female. I'm going to click on subscribe. Let's click on I'm not a robot and subscribe. So as I do that, here it is saying that the subscription has been confirmed. Taking you back to Public Connect, you can see that we have received the API response where this here is the mobile number, the last name, gender, first name, email address, and then here we have the data email once again. Now, once I have received this information, I want to send this user a welcome email. So for this, I'm going to choose my action application which is gmail let's click on this you can use any other mailing service now the action event here would be to send email let's click on connect so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the gmail account i'm going to click on add new connection and connect with gmail as i do that here it is asking us to choose an account let's click on this and once this is done, Public Connect wants to access my Google account. So I'm going to click on allow as this is absolutely secure. So you can see that the authorization is successful, which means that Gmail and Public Connect are now integrated. Now I'm going to go down and here we have to fill in this information. First of all, the recipient's email address. So as I click on this, you can see the previous step. And as I click on this, here is the email address of the recipient. Now, the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now, as I take you down here, we have to enter the sender's name. So the sender's name, let's say this is Pabli Connect. Now, I'm going to write this manually, Pabli connect now i'm going to write this manually why because this is going to be a static information it is not going to change with every email and since this is not dynamic we do not have to map this next is email subject so the email subject here would be welcome to mailchimp the next thing is email content type. So this can be plain or this can be HTML. Depends if you wish to add some URL. Since I'm not going to add any URL or video link, this is going to be plain. Now comes the email content. So I'm going to write dear. And now what am I supposed to write? So I am supposed to map the name of the person. So let's say this here is the first name. So dear, dear, a very warm, Welcome to our MailChimp family. Can't wait to share all the interesting updates with you. Regards. Okay. So this is my email content and then we have the file name. So we are not going to attach any file. So I'm going to leave this blank and this also. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that here, you can see that I have received the API response according to which a mail must be received by my user. So I'm going to take you to the email address of the person. And so here you can see we have received the mail. Dear, dear, a very warm welcome to our MailChimp family. Can't wait to share all the interesting updates with you regards. So this basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to MailChimp. I'm going to copy this once again, open this in a new tab and as i do that now i'm going to fill up this form let's say the first name here is dummy and the last name here is demo 23 then we have the email address which is dummy demo 23 at pablitudes.com then we have the mobile number here it is and finally we have the gender so the gender let's say is male i'm going to click on subscribe so again let's click on i'm not a robot and subscribe and you can see that the subscription has been confirmed and as soon as this subscription has been confirmed what should happen automatically a mail should be received by this particular person welcoming him to mailchimp family so i'm going to take you here let's go to inbox and yes here you can see we have received another message dear dummy this is the message so our integration is a success i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done
So this is an absolutely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is MailChimp and the event here is new subscriber. Then our action application is Gmail and the event is sent email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.